Hey friends, in this video I'm going to show you how I make yogurt at home. It's easy, all you need is milk, yogurt and patience. Now you're probably thinking, why not just buy it from the store? Well, it's Corona pandemic and we don't do as much grocery shopping as we wish to. Besides, isn't it great to know how to make something from scratch? But let me tell you why I really make yogurt at home. I come from Bulgaria. It's a small country with big traditions in yogurt preparation. So when I first came to US, I bought some yogurt and it tasted like plastic. So what do I do now? Go back to Bulgaria? No, no. Call grandma, ask her how to make the yummy yogurt. She thought it's a disgrace that I don't know how to make yogurt. But at the same time, she was glad that I'm finally going to learn. So this is one of the reasons why I make yogurt at home. It's so delicious. Reason number two, it's cheaper. Milk in store isn't as expensive as yogurt is. And last but not the least, it will make your grandma happy or even better, it will make your mother-in-law happy. So just give it a shot. Here I have about 32 ounces of whole milk which is about to boil. Once it comes to boil, I'm going to turn off the heat and let it cool down, but not completely, just until it's slightly warm, not hot. You can also use the low-fat milk if you prefer, it's still going to work. The second thing we need is some yogurt. Here I have saved some of my homemade yogurt, but uh, the first time when I didn't have any, I bought Danone and uh, used that one instead. There are no exact proportions, but for around 32 ounces or 1 liter of milk, I'm going to use a couple of tablespoons of yogurt. So now my milk is warm, you can simply check with your finger, it shouldn't be hot, just slightly warm. Uh, I'm going to switch on my oven for a minute and in this bowl I'm going to add a couple of spoons of yogurt, pour my milk. Mix it. Put the lid, switch off your oven and simply keep it in the oven. Keep the bowl in the oven. I can feel it's slightly warm, which is perfect. Close it and let it sit for uh, overnight or at least 8 hours and don't mix it or shake it in between, just let it do its own job and uh, that's it. You have homemade yogurt. On the next day, take out the yogurt from the oven. Let's see how it has come out. So this is how it looks. Once you keep it in the fridge, uh, it may become even thicker. Now you can see a little bit water here, which is perfectly fine. So once your yogurt has formed, remember to keep it in fridge. This is very important, else it will become sour. Always store in fridge and serve chilled. And now it's time to serve it. Enjoy your yogurt in every possible way. You can have it plain, just the way it is. You can sweeten it with honey, add nuts to it, or mix it with your favorite jam. It is also used in many cooking recipes and it has great health benefits. So please try this recipe, let me know how it worked for you. Thank you for watching and see you next time.